What's up guys? It's your girl Hey Paris here and as you can see by the title of this video <laughs> You better get your damn popcorn bitch because there's a lot to go through And before you ask yourself Paris, why are you putting someone on blast like this? Please know that I have permission from all parties of this video to tell this story um, This is actually a really like excruciatingly long story So I feel like I'm just gonna tell you guys the first part and if you guys are still interested in knowing how it ends Actually, I'm gonna tell you how it ends at the end of the video But if you want to know the other events that led up to the ending then I'll make a part two But I cannot put this entire story in this one video. It would literally I know not exaggerating be at least two hours long because there's a lot of things and a lot of details and it's wild okay so I'm just gonna tell you guys the first part of the story and how I was there when it first happened okay you'll understand what I'm saying in a minute but before we get into the story let me tell you about my favorite subscription box Scentbird. Scentbird is here to slay the day I'm also I'm also missing two nails. This is like the first time in like four or five years that I have missing nails in a video. So don't clown me. I'm getting them done on Wednesday. Anyways, if you don't know what Scentbird is, Scentbird is a subscription box where you can get luxury perfumes from all of the biggest brands around the world like Gucci, Versace, Marc Jacobs, all of that. You can get the best luxury perfumes in these cute travel size sprays so you do not have to buy the full bottle of perfume without smelling it you can get it in your scent bird subscription figure out if you really like it and then you can go purchase the big bottle if you really want to they have over 600 brands you can shop with and they have a flexible subscription so if you want to skip a month you can always do that without any penalties so you can choose any designer fragrance for men and women every month for only $16 you heard me right $16 and every month you pick exactly what you want to receive so there's no surprises so in these travel sprays you get a 30 oh I, I use this up I've been spraying Gucci bloom okay <laughs> just it's just it's just been giving me life okay but like I was saying in each spray you get a 30-day supply of perfume which is more than enough and if you really love it then you can decide to buy the big bottle because you know exactly what it smells like so this month I got a deck of scar Scarlet. And this smells, oh, oh wow. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Okay, it was like three different levels of that. It came like, it was like mature and then it was playful and then it was sweet and then it settled down in like a really cute, sexy musk. I like this. I've actually never heard of this company before, which is why I wanted it in my subscription, but I'm liking this one. It's giving me grown woman, but like, I ain't too grown, I ain't too old, <laughs> you know? I also got Florel by Vince Camuto. Also never smelled this before. Ooh, okay. If y'all are gonna get, if you like like sweet pastry, like you're in a bakery, like cookies being cooked and cakes being caked and icing and like that sweet overwhelming vanilla scent and you're about to get scent burnt after this video, make sure you cop this. Let me put it on the screen again so you guys can search that on the scent bird website. This is like a sweet girl's dream. Mm, let me spread that again. Mm, that's honestly, honestly, I'ma get the full bottle of this. It's definitely a summer vibe ting. And then the last one I got was, let's see, Minkoff Rebecca. Don't know what that is, but the notes must have really caught my eye. So let's spray this as well. Mmm, it's giving grown woman. It's giving Met Gala. Okay. That's cute. So instead of spending $150 to $500 on a brand new big perfume that you've never smelled before, you can sign up with Scentbird and have a smell before you buy the full bottle. You get a 30 day supply, you get to choose a perfume you want, and it's only $15, but there's more. If you use my coupon code on the screen, you'll get 55% off, and that is only $7 for your first month. Scentbird is available in Canada and the US. So if you wanna try them out today, click the link in the description box down below to sign up for the subscription. Scentbird is definitely one of my favorite subscriptions of all time. You guys know I love my perfumes. Got my own, you know what I mean? So this really helps me to decide what new perfume I'm gonna buy. Thank you so much Scentbird for sponsoring today's story time. Okay, so I have a friend. Today we're gonna name her Pantene. That's, that's a stupid name, sorry, I was just, Sometimes I just look at products in my room and I, you know, just get straight to it and call them whatever I see in my sight. But I guess we're going to call her Pantene today, okay? And before you wonder why my room is a mess and why it looks like this and all that, I apologize in advance. I am in the process of moving and there's boxes behind me and all that. Just 
and I'm trying my best to find a good time to film, a good place to film. That's why I haven't been uploading so much lately. Um, there's a lot going on. So just ignore the background for now. I apologize. Things will get better soon. Okay. So I have this friend named Pantene and if you're new to my channel then you may not know this but all of my story times when I'm talking about people, obviously I make up fake names to hide their identities, but some of the times I'm talking about the same person and I just change up their name so that people who know me in real life can't connect the stories and be like, oh, it's so-and-so, it's so-and-so, whatever, you know what I mean? But Pantene has been in probably the most story times I've ever told on my channel ever. She is one of my really close friends and has been through a lot of events with me. So um, yeah, this is someone who has been in a bunch of stories. And again, I have full permission from her and her father to be telling this story, okay? Because there is a happy ending, like I said. It was traumatic and dramatic in the beginning, but in the end, everyone's happy, okay? So me and Pantene were friends for a really, really long time and um, I'm really close with her family, with her brother, with her mom, with her dad. Like we are just like, I've known her for a long time so I call her mom, mom. I call her dad, dad. Like it's one of those, you know, when you have a friend that you can just like open their door and go inside their house and go in their fridge and no one's gonna look at you like you're crazy because their family low-key adopted you as their third child. Yeah, that's me. She calls my mom mom, she calls my dad dad, like it's one of those. And let me just say, just because I do videos with certain people or I post Instagram pictures or Instagram stories with certain people does not mean they are my only friends. I have a bunch of friends who do not like to be in the limelight. They don't like to be tagged on Instagram, none of that. So don't think it's someone that I posted and don't try to figure out who it is because you're not gonna get it because I don't think I've ever, no, I've never done a video with them on YouTube and I probably posted them on my story probably once once or twice and they were not tagged so you don't you won't know who it is because a lot of people feel like the only friends people have are the ones that they post on social media and that's just not the case so when i do story times i always get these dms like is it dr is it dr i'm like definitely not it's definitely not but anyways like i said our families are really really close or whatever right her dad is super super cool like her dad would drop us off to parties he would drop me off at work sometimes like i'd be waiting for the bus and i'd see his bright yellow car and he'd be like come on paris where you going work okay i got you and he would bring me to work like he's a super cool chill dude so one night me and her were going to a house party and her dad was dropping us off <laughs> I'm so sorry. Her dad was dropping us off to this house party late at night, maybe like 11 o'clock. We were probably in our, I was probably like 19 at this time. 19 or 20, something like that. No, I was probably 19. Her mom wasn't in the country. Her mom had traveled um, during this, Was it, it was for a few weeks. So in her house, it was just her, her older brother and her dad. So while we're partying, we're getting drunk or whatever, we're having fun, like young girls are supposed to do. She gets a call from her older brother and her older brother basically says that her dad called him and said that he's not coming home tonight because he's helping their grandmother get some things together. Brother didn't question it, my friend didn't question it. It was like, okay, you at granny's house, that's all fine and dandy. But the brother, bitch, what the fuck was that? But her brother was actually calling her to tell her not to come home either because he had invited a little thing, you know, he had a little bitty over, whatever, he had a little shouty over. And he had wanted Pantene to stay her ass over at the party or at my house so that, you know, he could have the house to himself and do his little thing, his little thingy thing, you know. So she's a cool sister and he is very nice to her. Like they have a really good, cool relationship. So she's like, okay, you got a little bitch over. Let me not say bitch, hold on. So she was like, "I, right, you got a little bitty over. Like, I will not interrupt your your actions and your activities. I will stay at this party or at Paris's house. No problem. And her staying at the house would not be a problem. Like I said, we're really, really close. So she was going to stay over at my house, give her brother some privacy with this girl while Papa Bear is over at Granny's house. We don't know where he was. We're not sure where he was, but he said Granny's house. So I'm gonna say Granny's house, you know what I'm saying? But me and Pantene, oh my gosh, I'm not wearing my wedding ring. Y'all pretend I have my wedding ring on. I'm not about to start this video all over again, okay? Happily married, okay? I'm sorry about that. Sorry, Cammy. I'm sorry. Mm. So she was gonna sleep over at my house, 
But the way me and Pantene used to drink, we ended up passing out in this person's house. I don't remember waking up under a table and she was right beside me, cuddling me from behind, okay? I remember that day like it was yesterday, okay? And we woke up under the table like, what the hell is going on? And when we got up, up, up out of the, up, 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 up from under the table, there were other people like sleeping on the couch, sleeping on the floor. So I was like, damn, this must have been a really good night because then nobody go home. This is the whole party right here. Like, everybody's sleeping. So we woke up at like seven o'clock and we're like, okay, this is back when McDonald's was not serving all day breakfast. And I could never get my hands on a sausage and egg McMuffin because a bitch would never wake up on time or I would be late for school so I wouldn't be able to pick it up. So I was like, bitch, like it's seven o'clock. Let's go get a sausage and egg McMuffin. We don't ever get no damn sausage and egg McMuffin. I want a sausage and egg McMuffin, like let's go. So, you know, we put on our coats and we head out to get McDonald's. And when we get on the bus, you know, we're talking, we're laughing, we're having fun, like vibes are up, like everything's normal. The bus pulls up to McDonald's, we get out, and the first thing I see is Pantene's dad's car. Now, the car that Pantene's dad drives is not like a regular black Honda or a silver Subaru. Like, it is this really broke, well, back then, he has a new car now, but this really broke down yellow old fashioned car like if if you see it driving on the road you know it's him it's not anyone else nobody else drives this car except for this man because i've never up to this day that was so long ago up to this day i've never seen anyone else driving that car it's one of those cars that when you turn on the headlights like it looks like eyes like the you know the the eyelashes flap up i don't even know what that's called but y'all know what i mean those really really old time cars so 100 percent her dad's car. I knew it as soon as I saw it. So I'm like, wait girl, isn't that your daddy's car? Like, what's your daddy doing here at seven o'clock in the morning at McDonald's? What's going on? Like, wasn't he at Granny's house? So she looked at me, she's like, yeah, this is his car. So we go to the car and we're looking inside the car and we see a jacket in the driver's side and a jacket in the passenger side. And they're both like brown leather jackets. So I'm personally, me, myself, I wasn't thinking anything of it at all, but like her demeanor changed immediately. Like she went from talking, laughing, being who she is to like, as soon as she saw the jackets in the car, like dead silent was, she was acting so weird, like so, so, so weird. So I was like, okay, let's go in McDonald's. And she was kind of hesitant. Like, let's go to the McDonald's in the, at the other plaza. Let's go to the Plaza McDonald's. But the, pl the Plaza McDonald's she was talking about, which was a McDonald's Express. I know none of y'all know what a McDonald's Express is, okay? But there used to be a McDonald's Express at a close by place where we live. And like, that was a dirty ass McDonald's. Like, ratsandroaches.com slash disgusting ass people, okay? When she suggested that we go to McDonald's Express, I said, bitch, you must be drinking piss because ain't no way am I getting a sausage and egg McMuffin for the first time in the last what six years at McDonald's Express it's not happening no like we're gonna get diarrhea for days I'm not my booty hole is not ready for that so let's just stay here and let's go inside I said what's the problem let's go and she kept insisting let's just go to McDonald's Express let's just go to McDonald's Express I'm like I'm not going to McDonald's Express so if you want to wait out here while I go and get a sausage and egg McMuffin then that's what you're gonna do but I'm getting my sausage and egg McMuffin right here and then I can follow you to McDonald's Express even though this is a McDonald's and that's a McDonald's I don't see a difference other than they have roaches and rats eventually she was like okay fine let's go we go inside i order a sausage egg mcmuffin for myself she makes her order and as we're waiting for our order to be called i turn my head to like the left this is my right hand yeah i turn my head to the left <laughs> sorry sometimes i gotta you know <laughs> remind myself i'm sorry yeah so i look to the left and i see pantene's dad with a coffee in one hand and a nigga's hand in the other I said, this is awkward. This is, this is, this is different. I don't know what's, I don't know what's going on here now. So I, I looked at Pantene and I said, bitch, is that your daddy? I think, I think that's your father. That's your father right there. Look, right there. He holding that man hand. You don't see that? And she turns and looks and she goes, dad? Within 1.4 milliseconds of him hearing d he let go of the man's hand. Stood up immediately and said, almost said her name. I hate when I do that. I hate when I'm doing videos and I almost say people's names. Um, 
He stood up immediately and he said, oh, Pantene, what are you doing here? And Pantene was like, who is this? The man, the unknown man now, stands up as well and says, oh, you must be Pantene. I've heard a lot about you and your brother. And at this point, I'm standing there like, Just staring at the three of them, confused as hell. Pantene goes, okay, but who are you? The man grabs his coffee. <laughs> and to me, I don't give a damn. Like, I know him now, but back then I was like, Shady Boots, like Mr. Shady Boots. He grabbed his coffee and he was like, a friend, have a nice day and walked out the door. So Pantene's talking to her dad. I'm not really listening. My, my mind at this point was, going a million miles per hour because remember this is not just my friend's dad like i look at them as family like i look at them i look at him like he's my second father so as shocked as Pantene might have been i was shocked too and i was so confused and like you know when something happens and your ears just go like blank because your brain can't process what just happened that's what was happening to me but i could see Pantene like talking to her dad and then i hear the mcdonald's door open again and the man comes back again and he talks to Pantene's dad and he's like, hey, can you open your car door? I need to get my stuff. Pantene's dad was like, yes, of course. My food gets called. I grab my food. Pantene's food gets called, but she's walking behind her dad, like questioning him. I grab her food, which was kind of a hassle because the McDonald's lady was like, it wasn't you who ordered. I was like, it's my friend, bitch. I'm not trying to get free food. Like, give me the damn bag. We gotta go. Like, shit is happening. Shit is going on. You don't know what's happening right now. Like, her daddy was just holding a nigga hand. Like, this is a big situation right now. And we don't have time to be finding no receipt. I need the food. Like, we gotta go. But I got the food. And I walk behind them. The man is now waiting for a bus. Pantene's dad goes in his car, winds down the window, and says, I'll talk to you at home, Pantene. Winds it back up, backs out the parking space, and leaves. I'm like, nigga, you could have at least dropped us home. Like... You like we you live right there. You could have dropped us home. Now we gotta walk or take the bus. Like that was rude. Daddy, that was not nice. But he was gone. He was out of there. And the man who was with him is still waiting for the bus. Like this man went home in the car by himself. Didn't have the man with him. Didn't tell us to get in the car. He was just like so uncomfortable. You could see the uncomfortableness in his face. Mind you, let me just also note that at this time, him and Pantene's mom have been married for over... I have to ask her. Hold on. She said she doesn't know, but she said that when they finally got divorced, it was on the day, the day they filed their divorce. The day that they filed their divorce was on their 32nd anniversary. So they were together for a very long time, okay? So that, just note that. So this entire, my entire life knowing them, like... I didn't really see that. To be honest, if I'm sitting here right now thinking to myself, to be honest, I never really saw them being lovey-dovey. I never really saw them hug or kiss or even, honest, I never even see them in the same room sometimes. When they are in the same room, it's just quiet. I'm just taking that in right now. So although they were married, like, in my eyes, I don't know. A lot is coming to me right now. Ah. Uh. Anyways, after he skirted off and left us for dead, okay, not for dead because our house is right there, but left us to take the bus home, the bus ride home with me and her was silent. Silence. And when I tell you that this bitch does not ever shut up, so to hear her silent, I knew that she was going through some shit. It was so awkward. It was so weird. It was so out of my comfort zone. Like, I didn't even know what to do. We get off the bus, and I say, bye, I'll text you. And all she says is, yeah, and walks. And I'm like, damn, I don't know. I don't know about all that. Now, I don't know about y'all, but almost my whole life my mother has been like literally my best friend so the first thing I did to be honest with you was go to my mom's room this was back when I was living with my mom still was go in my mom's room and tell my mom the tea I was like listen we was up in McDonald's and Pantene's daddy was sitting down holding a nigga hand mama like he was holding his hand like it was not no friendly handshake like the hand was caressed in the other the other one's hand and I saw it with my eyes, mama. Now y'all know how mixed up Jamaican women are. So as soon as I told my mom, my mom sat up from that bed and was like, I am calling her mother. I am calling her mother and I'm telling her exactly 
what you just saw because ain't no way I'ma let her lay in bed with him knowing that he, you know what I'm saying? Like our families know each other like that. So like her mom and my mom, they're they're pretty close. I wanna say they're like friends, friends, but they would talk every now and then when it came to me and her going to a party or me and her spending the night somewhere, you know what I mean? So she's like, I'ma call her, I'ma tell her. I'm like, you cannot do that. Like this is none of your business. Like you want me to never tell you anything ever again? Not to mention we don't even have full proof as to what is happening. It was just an awkward situation where I I saw her like they, there's nothing I mean there is something weird with it but how can I look at a man holding another man's hand and just straight assume that he's gay like I can't do that you know what I mean so mom you can't just call her mom and potentially ruin a marriage over a assumption or a deeply rooted feeling that happened to be true you know but regardless don't call that woman like what and then later that night my mom told me that she tried to call her not not to tell her what happened but just to have a conversation with her and see where her head's at or whatever and she wasn't answering her phone i said good because she's not in the country duh now if i keep going into details of how we really unraveled and found out that her dad is actually gay and has been gay his entire life and why he decided to marry her mom and have children and all of these things like there is an answer to every question that i personally had about why a man would marry a woman if he's attracted to men he answered every single question for me and i'm so thankful for him to be comfortable enough to talk to me about it like he's so cool he's such a cool guy um but if i were to go into details on how we really found out that he's gay i'm telling you we'll be sitting here for two hours so i'm gonna tell you the end results and like i said if you guys want me to go to part two and tell you guys about the fight um the pictures <laughs> the meetup undercover stuff the police, I, I, I'll have to make a part two because I'm already at, right now it says 30 minutes. Hopefully when I cut this down, it won't be 30 minutes. But it's a very, very tedious and long story that has a lot of details. So if you want a part two, leave a comment down below and let me know you want that part two. Um, but I'm going to tell you guys what happened in the end. At the end of us basically truly finding out that he's gay, him holding that man's hand was just the first layer, the first thing that I personally saw. But you know how I was saying that Pantene saw her dad's car and the coat and was like, she didn't want, she did not want to go inside of McDonald's. That is because she saw something for herself earlier on in her life and she didn't want to be right at that time. Everyone's happy now, but at that time she did not want to be right. So she didn't want to walk into anything that she didn't want to see, which, unfortunately happened is kind of my fault because I should have just went to McDonald's Express and ate the roach the roach burger like what but at the end of it all when we truly found out that he likes men um the same man that we saw at McDonald's right now on this date which is Friday March 4th 2022 is his husband of over four years okay so that is good news and um her mom is also very happily married to someone else as well everyone is on good terms um shit i might just have to do a part two or else this is just not gonna make sense but i just want to know if you guys are interested in hearing the part two first um because it's so it's so much like it's gonna have to be a day where i have nothing to do and i could sit down and record it detail by detail but just know at the end of the day everyone's comfortable with me telling the story because everyone is happy and i know some people might be like it's not fair to the mom that she would have to you know go be with this man for over 30 years who didn't find her. well i don't know if he, maybe he did find her attractive who knows but who wasn't attracted to females you get what i'm saying i could understand a lot of people might be upset and frustrated with that thought but at the end of the day her mom is happy, her dad is happy, her brother's happy, she is happy, and I'm happy for all of them. So um, if I do a part two, you guys will understand why I personally feel like everyone is okay and everything is okay because the way that it all came together and the way that everyone had a happily ever after, I feel like it was worth it for us to go undercover and, you know, oh shit, I didn't even tell you guys about that. I didn't even get that part 
two. If, if I do part two, you guys will know. You guys will know all about that, okay? Maybe I should just bring her with me. Maybe she, she probably doesn't want to be on camera. But I might, like, get her on the phone or something so that she can tell the parts that I wasn't there for. I was only there for two parts, which is this part here and another part where me and her decided to go undercover, okay? So let me know in the comment section down below if you want to hear part two. Make sure you follow me on Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok. All of that is in the description box down below for your convenience. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I love you guys so much. Don't gotta tell you twice. I'll see you on the flip side.